What is going on guys, it is FoxyDude98 here and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 15 career mode episode for you guys here today on my channel. As you can see we have now, I have actually done a couple of changes to this team since we last played so as you can see I have changed the squad around, this is basically my new formation, I'm playing the 4-5-1 which is effectively the 4-1-4-1 formation and I've also skipped it ahead so that we get ready to get straight into the game but what have I actually done previously, so um, in the previous episode we managed to purchase Diablo, who is from, I think it's Paramero, I think it is. He's been rumoured with Arsenal a lot, so I thought I'd buy him. He looks like a really good, um, looks like a really good player. I've also put in a bid for Chris Smalling, um, Nastasic, and I think I put in a bid for someone else. But anyway, as you can see, we've got, oops, excuse me, we've got a friendly game coming up now against Verona. So in the previous episode, guys, it was basically just a plot. We were starting off the career mode. We then played one friendly game against Borussia Dortmund. In this episode, we're going to be playing two games. Um, well, it should be two games per episode from now on, maybe even three. So if you guys do enjoy this crew, well, make sure to leave it a like rating. And without further ado, I just did not, don't, don't sim. No, we're not simming. We're playing. We play all the matches as well. Classic. Right, so should we go away? No, that's going to, cl that will clash kits. Um, team management. So we've got Chesney playing, Chambers, Mertzaka, Debushi, Monreal, Sanchez, Rosicki, Flamney, Cazola, Walcott and Diablo playing. I'm happy, to, I'm happy to go with that one. So, um, yeah, let's get straight into this game then. So, uh, it's going to be good. Let's just... So, I'll, I'll skip all of this. Don't need to see this. We'll be back here in a second when we get kickoff. So, we are back. We are kicking things off here with a Santi Cazorla run and a foul after one minute. Ugh. Free kick straight off the bat. Let's see if we can do anything from this free kick here. Let's skip all of this. We don't need to know about this. Right, hang on. We got Flamini, right, Rosicki. Take it down. Take it past one. And we get slip. We've got another free kick. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we're playing. If you guys didn't realize, I'm playing a team called Verona. Uh, whoa. Hang on a minute. They just got a red card after. They just got a red card after three minutes, guys. What the hell? Let me check this. To be fair, he did come in from behind. Wow. A red card for three minutes. Let's see if we can score this, actually. Who have we got that we can. Who's got the best free kick accuracy? Cazorla seems to be papping it. Sanchez has got a bit more power. We're going to use Cazorla for this one. Because we all love a bit of Santiago Cazorla. About two and a bit bars. Boom. Ah, oh, it's gone over. Damn it. But they've got a red card. We're looking strong for this game. Decent play coming on here from Ferreira or whoever they're called. But Flamini... Oh, God. No. Flamini can't tackle. You can't tackle either. Murtasaka can't tackle either. Oh. Oh, good save. Good save. Good save. Clear it. Oh, my God. No one in my team seems to be able to defend. That's a great ball. Oh, Diablo for his debut goal. Rebound it. Yes, come on. That is a goal for us, guys. Pablo Diablo, or however you pronounce his name. I can't really remember. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Scores our first goal for this team. First goal for his club. And that's also on his debut as well. A little cut inside. A great ball from Rosicki. And then it was saved. We managed to get it onto the rebound here. We're 1-0 up currently. And we're doing really well in this game. All right, then, guys. As you can see, we have hit half-time in this game. It's currently 1-0 to us at the moment. Thanks to a goal on his debut for Diablo. They've also got a red card. And for some reason, this game has gone really, really quickly. I need to double check at the end of this. Is this is gone? Is this is a four-minute game? Because this has gone really, really quick. And I'll tell you that straight off the bat. But at the moment, we've got yellow cards for Flamini and Monreal. I'm not going to make any changes yet. You can see the possession stats. That would be a dominant in possession. But um, I'm going to go and make some substitutions in about the 60th minute or so time. But without further ado, we're going to get straight into the second half here. See if we can try and score any more goals. And yeah, look at the, t look at the time thing. It's, I think it's on four minutes. I think it's been set to four minutes. I'll have to check that at the start of the next game. Free kick. You on a journey of cut inside. Ah, oh, sold him. Sold him. Sold him. Come on, Diablo. Damn it. What a good save. That's a great one from Diablo. I'm going to call it, yeah, Dia Diablo. I don't even know. All right, then, guys. So, we're going to make our substitutions here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch up the formation to the 4-3-3 attacking. Let me just quickly find it. Is it this one? No, that's not the one. Um, there we go. That's the formation I wanted. So, we're going to switch up the formation here. And we're going to make a couple of changes. So, Diablo is going to come off. Danny Welbeck is going to come on. And we're swapping those two around like that. Sanchez will stay on the left, I think, like this. Um, we're going to bring on Urzil. He's going to be our next change. And Chamberlain's also going to come on in place of Flamini. 
and Cazor is going to drop into the centre of midfield. So they're the changes that we're going to be making to the team. And yeah, we'll wait for the substitution to come on and see if they can make any impact into the game. Right away, he's not catching us anytime soon. We're just going to run with this. We're just going to run straight. Run straight. Power it. Oh, good save. Another great save. A good run there from Thomas Rosicki. But I think that's his, going to be his last contribution into this game here. Substitution is coming on. Yep, Rosicki's coming off then. So we've got everyone now backing in. Let's get this corner whipped in from Sanchez. Walcott's going to get on the end. Actually, Walcott getting on the end of things? No, I don't think so. Oh, Walcott's run with this one. Walcott cut inside. Boom. That's got to be two. It is. Oh, I thought that. I don't. I didn't think that went in then, but it did. Theo Walcott making it two. Now, we finish off this game. It's been quite a bit of a boring game, to be honest. I think I definitely need to check the settings, though, because I think this is on a four minutes per half, and, it, and the standard is six minutes a half. But a great little fake shot inside here, and I didn't think I managed to get the shot off. It hit the post, but it still went in, so it is 2-0 to us now. We're doing really well. We've pretty much wrapped up this game, and that is pretty much going to... You'll probably next time see me... Oh, hello. That guy. That guy. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let me just get a third one. Hang on. There we go. Now, let, let me just get that third one, and then we'll talk about how it's going to be at full time. But there we go. We are now finally... Fine, we're actually taking advantage of this 10 men, because I completely forgot that they had a man sent off in the third minute, but... Wow, well there we go guys, it's 3-0, so it's been a bit, a bit more entertaining than I would have thought of, but uh, let's try and get a fourth. Can we get fourth? Because we've got the momentum swinging. Walcott, Walcott making the roulettes. Walcott, Walcott, hello? Can I get a fourth? That'd be quite weird if I can get four goals in like nine, in like two minutes of each other. No, that's a good tackle. Right then, there we go guys, that has been the end of the game. We managed to win the game 3-0 thanks to a goal from our new signing, Paul Bablo Diabla, or... I'm going to say Diab Dabala. I don't know. I really don't know. I really do apologise. A goal from Walcott and then one from Welbeck at the very end there. So we did manage to finish it off. 11 shots, 6 on target. Let's go and have a look who got the man of the match. Danny Welbeck getting his man of the match with an 8.9 rating. Paolo Diabla getting us 8.4 rating. Sanchez not really performing well. Walcott did quite well. Ozil, Cazorla, Chamberlain, decent ratings. Mutsaka did well. Debu uh, Monreal didn't do the best, I don't think. And Chesney didn't do amazing either. But there we go, guys. That has been the end of game number one. We'll go into advance now. Uh, who else won? Bayern 04 beat West Ham. Everton drew against Granda. And West Brom beat Espanyol. So that's pretty decent results. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and check if we actually managed to get any of the players that we um, that we wanted for the team. Uh, let's have a look. See if we've got a couple of emails coming in. So let's have a look then. So we managed to get an offer accepted for Chris Smalling. We've also got an accepted offer from Nastasic. However, Socrates has not been offered. So what we're actually going to do is I'm going to sign both these centre-backs. Because you're probably thinking, why would I sign both centre-backs? I'm going to sign them both because I'm going to sell um, Mertesacker. Because I don't want Mertesacker anymore. He's slow and useless. So that's... Um, oh, I put crucial first team. Oh, well, that doesn't really matter. That doesn't matter. Right, so let's go over to the squad. Uh, transfers, sell players. Because I want to get rid of Mertesacker because I don't like him in the team. I think he's slow and he's, he's going to lose his price tag eventually. He'll go for, like, he goes for 10 mil now, apparently. He's 29 years old and he's just terrible. So we're going to add him to the transfer list, see if anyone else buys him. Um, until then, guys, we're going to now skip ahead. And we've got a match against PSG in the second friendly match. This is going to be a difficult one, but I'll be back with you in a second. Because I'm going to sort out this squad, give it a little bit of a tweak, and I'll be back with you in just a second. Hey then guys, so as you can see here on the screen right now, this is the team that I have come up with in order to play against PSG. I'm going to make Sanchez my left mid for now, um, probably in the January transfer window I think, or if I've got enough money left, I'm going to go and purchase a left mid because I don't really have any left mids in my team. In fact, I'll just quickly go through, have I got any left mids at all? Like, I don't have a left mid, that's kind of a bit of a worry. Um, I've gone and start. Oh, look, Alex Oxlade Chamberlain's going to get his first call up for the team. Danny Welbeck's going to get a call up as well. Ramsey's going to be playing in. Now, Wilshire has just come back from injury. It was an email that I actually just got in um, as well. So I'm going to give him. I'm probably only going to play him for one half of the game, take him off at half time, and then I'll make some other substitutions later on. Gabriel's coming in instead of Murtasaka. Debushi and keeps his place in the team. Gibbs also gets to come back into the team. Wojciech Szczesny also keeping his place into the team. And we're going to be playing against PSG. Now, the one thing I wanted to check here as we um, skip through all of this. Yeah, it's... Look, you can see in the top, it's set on four minutes. I need to change that. Six minutes. There we go. Right then, so let's play this matchup and see how we can get on. Alex Oxley chamberlains through. That's a great ball from Welbeck. Come on, Chamberlain. Oh my god, how have you missed that? Is that a corner? If that's not a corner, then oh, Alex, you are a knob. Alex, 
Oh my god, I can't believe we've just missed an easy opportunity there to score. Cut past one, cut past two. Oh, oh my god, that went in. What a, what a weird goal. I, I did not expect that goal to go in for Danny Welbeck. I'm watching this again. I'm sorry. This, this proves to you guys that keepers are terrible. How did he not save that? Like, look at this. He literally palmed it into the back of his own net. But I'm going to take it. It's 1-0 to us. Danny Welbeck yet again getting on the score sheet. I think he scored in every single game that we've started him, him or played with him in now. So uh, he's starting to prove that he could be our main man instead of Olivier Giroud. Maybe we should sell Giroud. Basically, now I've just paused this. Um, I've got a yellow card for absolutely nothing. Welbeck's just given a yellow card for absolutely nothing here. Look at this. He's a little unlucky. This is a yellow card in FIFA. That makes so much sense, EA. Well done. That's a yellow card. I don't even I don't even get it. I actually genuinely do not get this game sometimes. Right, there we go, guys. That is half time in our game. It's currently 1-0 to us thanks to a goal from Danny Welbeck. The referee in this game has been absolutely shocking. He has just given decisions after decisions to you uh, to PSG. It's kind of annoying. Let me go into the stats here. Show you the fouls. Four, fa four fouls. I've had fucking more than that. But anyway, I'm going to make one substitution in this game. Jack Wilsh is going to come off. He's had a little bit of a run. I'm going to bring on Meza Ozil. Put Ozil into the cam spot and move Santi Gazzola down into the centre mid position. We'll be making some more changes later on in the game. But for now, I feel comfortable as I am. Let's get straight into the second half and see if we can try and score any more goals here against PSG. And guys, we're going to be making the changes in the 55th match. This is 55-55. That was well timed. But we're going to make our changes then for today's game. I'm not really sure. So we're going to take off Danny Welbeck and we're going to bring on Olivier Giroud. Just because Welbeck's on a yellow card. And I've been making a couple of challenges with Welbeck. So I kind of don't really want to risk it. Um, and I think I'm going to bring on Thomas Rosicki in place of Aaron Ramsey. And that's all the changes that we're allowed to make. I'm going to be keeping Welbeck, uh, keeping uh, Chamberlain and Sanchez in the team up front. Because they're doing really well for me. And until... and. So let's see if we can try and make him some impact with our substitutions that we've made. Sting into some space. In fact, he's burst into a lot of space. Oh, it's a good stop. Giroud on the volley. There we go. I oh, wasn't really a volley. That was the rebound. But 2-0, guys. Olivier Giroud making an instant impact into this game. He basically just scored a goal, which is what he does in real life. He sticks to the edge of the box. Alexis Sanchez with a beautiful run. We'll see the replay now here. Coming up, but Sanchez making a great run. Giroud just sticking to the outside of the box. And as soon as that ball comes to him, Giroud knows that he can just plot that into the back of the net. Here it is again. Giroud in the space, just touches it down with his chest, and that's a great goal. Oh, and they've, they've just brought on Ibrahimovic. They didn't have him on before, so I think they took off Cavani. Yeah, they've taken off Cavani. Well, Boom. The same next Boom. 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 Ozil. Oh, my God. That came off Giroud. Oh, my God. That was such a great goal, or a great bit of running from Meza Ozil, but so annoying that that came off of Giroud as it shows the replay of the goal. That should have been 3-0 there, guys. Well, there we go, guys. That's been the end of the game. We managed to beat PSG, I believe, 2-0 in the end, thanks to a goal from Welbeck and then our substitute, Giroud. We had a lot of good chances in that game. It should have been 3-0 with Ozil's shot, but annoyingly, Giroud got in the way. But nevertheless, it's another convincing win. We have won yet another friendly for us. And that is really, really promising going towards um, the start of the season. So, without further ado then, so we're going to just um, finish off a couple of things. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead just a little bit here. So, we can try and see if we can um, get these players. There we go. Lots of contracts. Right. So, you have accepted. Oh, no. Transfer offer accept. Okay. That's the transfer offer. So, we can delete that. That's a transfer offer, so we can delete that. So Smalling has accepted our contract. We're going to accept the offer and take Smalling on in our career mode. So he is our brand new player. And Nastasic, we are also going to sign. So we've signed ourselves two brand new centre-backs in this game. That is awesome. Two new signings have arrived. And uh, that's pretty... That, that's sick. We've got two centre-backs again now, Smalling. And we've also got... Um, what's his name? I can't remember. I can't even remember now. Um... The Stasic, but we've now got... Oh, we got an offer for Mertesacker. Bayern Munich are willing to pay... How much are they willing to offer? The, oh, right, so Bayern Munich are willing to pay 10 million for Mertesacker. Will we accept this offer here? Because I don't really want Mertesacker anymore, unfortunately. Now, oh, we'll play a conversation. I'm feeling okay for the game, boss. I know it's a slight risk to play me, but I'm prepared to give it all you need to do to give me. So that's fine from Jack Wilshere. 
I'll be back with you guys in just a second because I want to go and make a, try and make another signing for the Arsenal squad. We've got £21 million left and I've got one more player that I've got in mind. And then guys, for the next player that I would like to go and purchase to include into the Arsenal team, it's yet another left mid so I can sort of rotate my wingers around. It's going to be Ivan Perisic. I've played with him before on FIFA and he's really, really good. So hopefully in our career mode, he can be absolutely insane. Remove that from the transfer list. So now let's see. Hopefully we can try and get some sort of information, but... It appears that our Community Shield game is going to be going ahead. I thought that I thought it did Community Shield and then the Friendlies. But, unfortunately, no sign on Parasit. We'll have to wait until the next episode. But, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Make sure to leave it a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. Subscribe for some more daily content of Call of Duty, uh, Advanced Warfare, and FIFA on my channel. I'll make, um, Don't worry, guys. I'm not ditching Ultimate Team for sure now playing career mode. I will be doing Ultimate Team and I'll be making sure that all the latest information is out there for you guys on Ultimate Team like I have done before. But if you guys enjoyed, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Next time we'll be playing the, in the Community Shield. Hopefully we can replicate what um, what Arsenal did and won the Community Shield against Man City. So hopefully we can do the same thing. And until then guys, I'll speak to you on another video. Take care. Bye bye guys.